seriously uh, here in our athletic department, uh, you know, especially uh, our trainer, Jennifer Brown and her team um, and people around campus that have done so much to put us, uh, you know, you know, we have a chance to play. So I'm grateful for that. The second thing is that I want to congratulate St. Francis. Um, you know, they were very, very ready to play. They were really good. Uh, they controlled the game from the beginning. And um, congrats to them, their coaching staff, and their guys. Uh, disappointing for us. Very, very disappointing for us. Um, you know, we didn't play with the, especially to start the game, we didn't have the energy that's required uh, to have a chance to become a good team. And I'm not really sure why. Uh, you know, it took us a half to kind of get that energy. Um, you know, a couple of things that we've really tried to emphasize were defense and rebounding. And we did not do a good job of that. Um, I think we panicked in the first half when we couldn't make a shot. Um, and when you're playing against a team that's won, like they have, and have some guys back that were part of a team that won 22 games and got to their conference championship, they can see that, and they prey off of that. Um, and so we have a lot. We, we we have a lot of work to do. You know, for me, it's not a surprise. The outcome is a surprise, and especially how we started is a surprise. It's, it's tough to win against anyone when you have 23 turnovers and you do not shoot the ball well, and especially the way we defended in the first half. So uh, disappointed in that. Um, we got a lot of work to do, and we'll get back to work uh, starting tomorrow. Jeff, you said um, you said not you weren't surprised, but I mean, when you talk about different things like turnovers, the rebounding, the defense, which element there that was there anything there that did surprise you that you thought was really going to be better than than what happened tonight? I was surprised at how we started the game. I was surprised by that. I, I, I was surprised that you know we didn't have the energy uh, right away. I mean, we talked about we want them to feel us. Uh, you know, we talked about how uh you know when we score we want to pick up and we didn't do that and so right away they were able to get into a rhythm offensively you know we didn't pressure we, we, we didn't contest uh you know they were able to drive us um and so i i, I was surprised by that i was surprised you know how we didn't come out with the energy. I thought we would have been excited. I, I thought that we would have been, you know, really ready to go. I don't know if it was nerves or jitters or whatever. And then they smacked us right in the mouth and we panicked, you know, in that moment. And so again, we have a lot of growing up to do. We have a lot of growing up to do. Jeff, uh, you know, you had talked about some of the more disappointing a aspects of that game. How much had you seen some of those things in uh in practice or can that be kind of a difficult thing to judge when you're just playing against each other i've seen it i've seen it um and you know i think i said the other day like you know some days we're we look like we're good and some days we we're not um and it's 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 at times it's been difficult to judge because we are just going against us um you know today we played against a team that you know, man, the way they cut, the way they, you know, you know, talked to each other and communicated and, and made their defenses work, man and zone, um, you know, for whatever reason, it just knocked us back. Coach Sherrod, you're, you're, you're long three years. Up. That's the main thing. It took too long. It was similar to last year where when it, when it starts to happen, it snowballs. And instead of us – you know, maybe taking two minutes or three minutes, it's like six, eight minutes. And it took us getting to halftime to, to kind of, you know, get there. Coach, through your first three years here at Pitt, you've had a, a couple losses like this where you maybe lose to an opponent uh, early in the season that you didn't expect to lose to. What Have you noticed any common themes throughout these losses? Why do you guys keep dropping games like this? Energy. Energy. Lack of energy. Jeff, is that an easy fix where 
you can tell the team and they can fix that quickly, or is that more complicated than that? I don't think it's an easy fix. No, it's not. There's nothing easy about what we do. Um, and so I don't think it's an easy fix, but it's, it's, it's going to be something that we collectively, you know, have to work on. We have to understand. Like, we're not as good as we thought we were. That's one of the main things. Um, you know, it's, it's, it's hard for young guys to understand that when we're just against each other. And, you know, there's a, there's a, there's a, you know, uh, a feeling that we have, like, that we're really good and we have a chance to be good. But we have to understand that all these things are required to have a chance to be good. And if you don't have energy, it, it, it's not going to happen. If you don't value the basketball, it's not going to, I don't care how, what, what your talent is, it's, it's, it's not going to happen. And that's where we have to, you know, we have to learn. And it sucks that it took uh, losing, you know, maybe for a lesson to be taught, but that's what it is. And we have to learn from it and move on and get better. Jeff, Jeff, there was anything about their uh, about the zone defense of St. Francis that that you think was was special or something important that they did that made it harder for you guys, or do you think it was more so just about you guys' lack of energy and that panicking in the first? No, half? no, I'm not saying. Look, we didn't lose because of lack of energy. I'm not taking anything away from St. Francis. They were terrific. I mean, they were. You know, they were they were ready to play. They executed. Their guys, you know, did a heck of a job. So I'm not I'm not going to sit up here and sit like their zone was good. But there's some things that we could have done better. You know, I, I don't know. I have to go back and look at the thing. But it'd be interesting how many shots right there at the rim that we missed. You know, like you know, how many times we finished. That's something when I said it's not surprising. We, When we've shown feedback in practice, one of the areas that we've talked about is finishing. I mean, finishing right there at the basket. And so we have to be able to do that. Um, in real time when we're playing against other people. So we have to practice it better. So, thanks.